What I liked when I saw this particular wreath, it already has a little bit of an oval shape, which is what I did on purpose um, for my Groton House wreath. I'm gonna have to fix some of these stems that are sticking out, but I'm gonna try to figure out where my top's gonna be, which I might make it here, so if I wanna hang a ribbon, it will hold those sticks in. I'm gonna pull these out and just plop them down for now. And for those who didn't see my past video, um, I'll, tr I'll link it below. I bought a lot of faux fruit and then I drilled holes, put in some skewers and then wire to put onto the wreath. With the orange, the oranges here, I also used a little drill bit and put in some clove and they look just the same as they did years ago. So just pull these out. And I remember last year, I actually used some real fruit on the, the wreath as well. This one's a little bit larger, but I'm gonna put in some other live greens. So this one, I lost the skewer somewhere. So I'll have to get out my glue gun and fix that one. This one didn't even use a skewer. I just went right through the apple. but I do keep my eye out for realistic faux fruit for things just like this. Now I could have made this on a faux wreath and used it year after year, but storage, I'm trying to keep storage down to a minimum and I, I love the smell of the fresh balsam. Oh, <laughs> this is a cute memory too. When I bought these at, I forget what store, this one didn't know until I got home has teeth marks in it from a little, little kid who thought it might've been a real apple. And I did that to my grandmother's faux wax fruit. I remember that very clearly. I got a little time out for that, I'm sure. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I must have. Instead of pulling out a glue gun and my sticks, I just went out and got the goop I had here in the house so it's still nice and warm. Luckily it wasn't in the garage. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this and let it dry and then I'll be all set to go. I'm gonna put it right on the stick. I should probably stick it right in there. There we go. I'm gonna let that dry. I have some walnuts too I could probably put on the wreath this year. But I will show you this up on the door once it's complete. Some of these might move once I have it up, but I wanna buy some more fruit and get the ribbon on here and look at it standing back. And it will be a nice colonial Christmas wreath. I may even use some of the dried oranges. Who knows?
Here's a little trick that I have done for many, many years. I learned this when I was doing visual merchandising. Instead of having one long ribbon all around the tree, this ribbon is in pieces so that I can tuck and play and put it a lot easier where I want it to go. And then if I use a French ribbon, you can like scrunch it a little bit and just give it a little wave. So this particular ribbon is probably eight different pieces. And then I could just roll it up and use it in another project next year. On my Monday diary video, I mentioned that this would be the last morning. It would have been the last morning sit in front of the fireplace. Well, I completely wasn't thinking that we would have this morning, Tuesday morning, to enjoy time by the fire. So I was sitting here looking at one of my Christmas magazines and just envisioning this as a really cozy space once it's done. And then I realized I still have some artwork I have to take down. I moved the microwave out. Most of the cabinets are empty now. I have a few more things to put away, but I needed to get some more boxes out of the garage. And I also need to empty the bookshelf and make some space for these um, in another room. I should probably have the lights on for us, but like I said, it's morning. Good morning, Queen Bess. So if you asked where she was, she's here now. If I can modify my design, which I could modify my design, but if I can make it look right, I might put Queen Bess over the fireplace. Not sure yet, but um, I'm even thinking that my tall case clock might look really pretty here. Once the bench seats are in, those will be in by, you know, hopefully end of December, early January. And I'll be able to start somewhat of decorating. The only thing that won't be done once the kitchen project is over is the windows, which will not be coming in until April. Uh-oh, he's leaving for construction time. Yay. <laughs> well, here it is, all ready to be disassembled. They're going to work on the fireplace, I believe, and do some work in the pantry, but today, and tomorrow, it sounds like they're going to be doing the rest of the kitchen with the demo. And they're going to be taking the cabinets out, hopefully in one piece. They're gonna be refurbished and reused. And then the floors, we're hoping they can come up, but if they're glued down, I had several people ask, if they're glued down, I don't know what the situation is. We are trying to recycle as much as possible and donate as much as possible. So, We'll have to just see what happens with how well it was installed. But it, uh, it's gonna be a very different scene within a couple days or maybe even a couple hours. These guys work fast. I got my coffee mug for this situation. And this is what I will be tackling a little bit later today. I had to take all the cookbooks out of the kitchen. I had no idea that I really had this many cookbooks. I keep picking them up at the swap shop or I get them as gifts. I've gotten them as sponsorships, a mixture of things. So I'm gonna go through these and I'm gonna do a little bit of deleting and donating. And I'm gonna put them on the shelves right now. They'll be here for about a month. And speaking of these shelves on Thanksgiving Day, my daughter went through and was organizing my books by size. Now she's turning 33 and she was having a blast doing it. I just sat there and watched with my mother. We were laughing and my mother was pointing out what books to put where. Little did they both know is that I have the books by categories. So now I have my gardening mixed in with, let's say, architecture or 
fictional is mixed in with decorating. So needless to say, I watched it. I let it happen. I was having a blast watching the two of them laugh and figure things out here. And it was a little bit of entertainment. But now I'm going to go back and put my books where I know they are. Even though they're not color coordinated, they're not size coordinated, they're category coordinated. That's what I need for my brain. And she is obviously not going to help me. Here's what we have so far tonight. The cabinets were taken down in one piece. I think they have them both over here right now. And I have the fireplace is finally enclosed. That's not a wreath. That's just they don't bump their heads. It didn't work though. <laughs> but yeah, we've definitely a step again, another step. What a difference opening up this kitchen. And I can already envision now having the glass on the sides and the front is going to make this kitchen feel so much brighter and larger because it's not gonna have that cabinetry coming into the room feeling. So I'm excited. But it's just making me even see the patterns more so. The patterns of the wall, the counters to the floor, 